All right, let's start this uh, very, very fast. Let's try to fix this. All right, uh, we are going to be looking at uh, introducing you to blogger, uh, blogging and vlogging, right? So we're going to introduce you to blogging and vlogging. Uh, it's possible you know what it is, it's possible you don't. And uh, we have also explained already what uh, blogging is and uh, what blogging is. Blogging is just uh, us writing a script for a website and uh, running it like a journal. So it's a website. So and vlog uh, that's a uh, text based and why vlogging is video based. So let's run. Now before you decide to blog, you need to decide your niche. So a niche is the area or category you want to cover. Is it food niche? Is it tech? Is it lifestyle? Is it education? Anywhere that you want to be. And we established before that the narrower the niche the better. So if you are going to or run a niche on education for example, who is your target audience? And what is the category of these people? So are you going to be doing education for 15 years old or education for teenagers or education for four years old, education for a, a category of people, right? For those who are struggling to read, those who want to learn language, what kind of education? Now the formula is passion plus knowledge plus demand. So there must be demand for what you want to do for the niche you are picking. So we're going to give our seven activities to write three uh, niche areas, right? And we're going to use Google Trends to achieve this. So let's uh, quickly go and uh, use our browser. So here is Google Trend. Let's uh, refresh this page and see what we get. Well, so we can actually search Google Trend. We can explore it for the past 12 months. So what topic can we really work on that? Uh, are actually having that uh, demand. You can see exam topics is on the rise. Then 2025, you can see that. This one is a breakout. Uh, can, this one is 3,000 plus for the past how many days? For the past 12 months. So let's see if we can take this one down to something that has been trending for the past 30 days. Okay, let's do 90 days. And we're looking at all categories. Now, CDCFIB as a trending. Don't forget that this entire trend. Okay, let me just try to explain what Google Trend is all about. So this is Google Trend, uh, what we call trend.google.com. This is how Google measure things that are being searched for online. So this is things that are being searched for. I can look for images. These are web website. I can look for images, news. Depend on where I want to be. I can view use YouTube so that I will know what I will be uh blocking about so these are parts in the nigeria space and here is the past 90 days this one is all category right so i'm going to pick a category and my category is going to be on beauty and fitness so you can pick education so let me pick beauty and fitness and i don't want five years so i want the last 30 days let me see what is trending in beauty and fitness and in Nigeria, so it's showing me um, since July, beauty and fitness has actually consistently been climbing, but now it's a little bit down, but it doesn't climbing. So what is in beauty and fitness? So all these are all football. Because football is under fitness, right? So I need to get out of here. I don't want this. So let's look for education. Education. People and society. Um, news, law and government. Job and education. Let's see that. In the past 30 days, it has not been stable. However, you can see West Africa is our national council. 400. West Africa is 400. Scratch that topic 400 percent plus 400. Now, West Africa is a national council, so I can you can see uh, inquiry about uh, why direct why could these jam and all that. So, I can actually target teenagers that are about to write why because the outcome is actually high. 
so I can use that. So with my Google Trend, I should be able to pick a topic, uh, a niche that has to do with uh, teenagers that are about to ride bike. So if I were you, I would pick my niche around that category about teenagers that are about to ride wahe. So that is what we can do to get uh, the uh, niche idea. We can probably uh, do that to get niche idea. Another way we can actually get a niche idea in a very, very positive sense is still for us to try something that is very novel and is very, very helpful as well. All right? So let's go back to our browser. Let's use um, the dearly beloved ChatGPT. So let's use ChatGPT. Uh, it's open up. So we're going to open a new chat. A chat GPT. New chat. Now it has opened. So I will say acting like a pro blogger. Pro blogger. blogger. Find me top three highly profitable narrow niches in Nigeria. profitable that can yield income on a consistent note and has a very large audience right so we can specify here to whether we want it to be blog or vlog as a video or text so we're just going to click on this so that it can give us something we can even specify that he use google trend to find us the best of the best right we can even specify that he use or uber suggest or any of those wonderful uh, trend determinant to find us the best. You can see, without telling him to use a, it's a, a Google trend, he has used it. He's giving me jam, he's giving me cheap data, and uh, this is beautiful, right? And the other one is giving me scholarship and study abroad. These are the the most viable, uh, profitable, narrow niche with a lot of crowds. So it's telling me that uh, 1.9 to 2.0 million uh, UTM candidate annually, 1.8 million wax candidate every single year. So this is going to be profitable on a long run, a consistent note without a uh, backing down. Then this one is telling me cheap data plan. Is a Nigeria open 2025 with 107 million internet users, so it's viable. Then uh, here, why is a Nigeria a top tier visa recept, uh, recipient for the UK? All right, so this is why. All right, so um, this is good. So we we'll go back and see. how we can uh, all right so understanding your audience so you need to find a way to understand your audience so why audience research matters question who are they what do they need where do they hang out so uh, activities i want you to do is to pick one niche list three audience uh questions so you're going to be able to answer the three audience question and by the time you're watching this video once you 
understand who your audience are, what they need, where they hang out, then you can put it in the comment section with the answer, answer the public, with the hashtag answer the public. So I want us to also ask ChatGPT to pick one of those uh, uh, niche we just picked now and we ask who are they, what do they do, what do they need and where do they hang out. Let's ask ChatGPT and see uh, how that is going to pan out. All right. So we're going to find out how that is going to pan out. So we'll go to chat GBT and we're going to say pick niche, niche uh, number one and elaborate on who they are. what is their primary and secondary needs and where they hang out so let's see what it did to us it's going to tell us who they are now it started by telling us their age, their persona, and all that, their guidance, and their parents. So that's what it's going to tell us in a nutshell. So uh, let's wrap this up very quickly. Now, we'll also walk us through. Now, setting up a blog platform. So we have a Medium, we have WordPress, we have Blogger Blog. So we can explore this more in details later then what you will need if you are going to use a wordpress then uh we're going to be vlogging you will need a youtube TikTok, and instagram or one of these and you're going to set up the channel what you require is a proper setup a profile picture banner uh, maybe a few things then for, for youtube we're going to have what we call a, uh an art a channel ads right so if what you're going to need for equipment for blogging and stuff for the beginner you will need a smartphone and you need natural light right so and you need a, a quiet room so if i were you what i used to do not if i were you i close my doors and my windows in my room and i raise the curtain so that natural light can come in and i will do my recording right that's what i used to do so you can upgrade later buy the tripod, get a microphone and a, a ring light. Then uh, please on the comment section list out what equipment you already have. If you have a smartphone, put it there. If you have natural light, which is everybody do now have natural light, put it there. And I think you should have a quiet room. Then we can start with either CapCut or Canva to make our videos. Then we can use a Premiere Pro Pro Data or Rush uh, Adobe Pro when we become pros. Now, content uh, creation strategy for a blog, you can do tutorial, review, uh, you can do listing or direction. I think direction in Nigeria is going to sell like mad because a lot of Nigeria want to find out how do I move from point A to point B. I am in Surulere. How do I move from Surulere to uh, Ikeja? I am in uh, Igbeda. How do I move from Igbeda to Idimo? If I am in Portakot, how do I move from Rumo Koro? to my one or Rumo Koro to Choba or to Woji. If I'm in Benin, how do I move from uh, Upper Desua down to um, uh, Ubo? Or how do I move from Ubo to Upper? How do I move from uh, Ring Road to uh, New Benin and all that? If you have a blog that is giving direction to people, I think Nigerians will fall in love with you. Then if you also share stories, maybe love stories, Maybe very, very uh, hepatic stories. Maybe they were going to fall in love with you too. Then, vlogging, how to is very good. Tutorials is very good too. Day in life, that's a, how we run our day to day activities. Gossiping is quite good. Then, explain expl expl is also good. Uh, then, uh, the golden rule is this you need to be consistent, you need to be authentic, and you need to uh, be able to add value. 
right? Like you are watching this now, I believe you are getting value from what we are doing. So you can ask ChatGPT to draft one blog or blog idea for you, right? Or you can even ask 10 and you have those ideas. But uh, if I were you tonight, after watching this video, I'll go and ask ChatGPT if giving directions in Nigeria will profit, will be a profitable blog. Now, SEO for blogs. Now, what is SEO? SEO is actually uh, search engine optimization. SEO for blog is very much valid, but it is actually fading away bit by bit. We now have what we call um, uh, AI optimization, right? So that's what we now have. However, we can find uh, SEO very useful when you use tool like uh, Uber suggests, uh, SEMrush, Google Keyword Planner, and uh, you can use any of this. Now, uh, XEO for blog, that's, uh, we're talking about YouTube XEO. This is optimized with our title, with your tag, and with your thumbnail. So your description is in the, uh, another added value to it. Then the immediate likes and the content and time watch that you get will determine how YouTube is going to um, help to promote your video, right? Okay, so we have what we call building and, uh, and engaging a community. Now, when you reply to people's question and you create an emailing list, this will help, right? But the easiest way right now is for you to create your own Telegram, so that people that are watching, even if there are two, you can they can join your Telegram. If you have something of value, you can ask them, them to go get it on that Telegram. So that your telegram channel will grow and each time you make a video you put it on telegram channel or even if it's a blog you put it on telegram channel now in an environment like us nigeria emailing list might not be that effective however uh telegram is now cross-platform promotion now this is where you actually grow your blog you can reach out to other blogs uh and uh, be a guest blog uh or you can just uh, begin to share it on social media for people to get to see and a big one is for you to repurpose things you see on other platforms like you saw things on tiktok you repurpose them for youtube you saw things on the x and repurpose them for youtube or for tiktok now rick let's do a recap from idea to execution let's do our checklist you need a niche idea you need an audience persona. You need a blog, so a vlog account setup. Then you do your first draft idea. Then you start your engagement plan. This is what you can do to immediately start your blog today. Any niche at all. Then let's do our answer. Write your first blog. Whether you are using Blogger Blog or you are using YouTube, whatever it is. Then you can record a one minute draft video for blog intro. One minute is enough. You can use Canva, you can use any of this. Now you can drop me a question um, and I will be able to attend to you. So drop a question, I will be able to attend to you. And if you are watching, wherever you are watching this video from, what you can help me to do is to indicate where you are watching it from and what you want to learn next. Right? You can indicate what you want to learn next. And I will be glad to walk you through it all right okay so it is that easy